I think it's just kind of boring. Like, it just looks like every other freaking sedan. I'm gonna say it. I don't think we've had a good luck streak with new cars in a while. That's fair. You know, mm -hmm. we, we saw the new WRX. We saw the new Civic. And now we have the new, what some people are calling the new Acura Integra. Look at the new Acura Integra today. We're gonna to take a look at the debut uh, prototype video when they un unveiled the prototype. Uh, and then we're gonna come out with some facts. We got some facts about what this is compared to the other generations, what they're trying to do with it, what the car actually is, and then of course, uh, some pros and cons yeah. about what we think mm. is in there. So before we go ahead and get into this, don't forget to subscribe. And of course, if you need wheels, tires, or suspension, Fim you know where to go, FitmanIndustries.com. We got it all. You can package some tires with your wheels, mount, balance, and shipping, save some money, Big get time. it to your door for free, all that sort of stuff. It just makes shows it really up and easy. You put so, it on. Yeah, it's, it's kind of great. So, are you ready to get into this? Uh, yeah, I'm super excited to get into this. Okay. Dear culture, look at all those old Integra. Okay, yeah. So we RSX. got. Oh, they got an RSX in there, technically. I didn't an think Integra. that was surprising that they were just like, yeah, it's an Integra. And I was like, okay, cool. I mean, I mean, I knew it this whole time. Yeah. <laughs> but it's cool to confirm. It. Why? What is up with yeah, the yellow inside the exhaust tips? Like, as someone Wait, pointed that. Yeah, did you not? I didn't notice no. that right away either. But okay, I'll, well, it'll show when you get uh, to it. But like, there's literally like yellow plastic in the exhaust tips. It's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. It's like this is dope. Like, how do you how do you get all these old cars going to be like? Yep, this this fits here. This this is this belongs here. And everyone is dead silent. All right. I'm so <laughs> uh, it's a sedan. It is, okay, yep. Yeah, so it is a sedan. Uh, which it looks like a TLX <laughs> or I, whatever the they are. Yeah, really, it's like the same size. I think it looks it looks good. Right. I mean, like the car looks okay. Let's get into the specs a little bit. 1.5 liter. 1.5 liter. Turbocharged. VTEC engine. Which they use in everything. It, which, it, yeah. Which, which is, is a fine engine. And it's not confirmed that it's like the same exact one, there, if there's any modif you know, wow, modifying to it. it. But what else would yeah, they do to it? That's kind of my thoughts. It seems like thing? seems like the kind of the game plan now is like, oh, we have the engine. Let's just stick it in everything. 1.5 liter turbo, same as like the, the Civic Si. And kind of touching on that, I believe it's built off the same platform yeah. and chassis yep. as the, the new Civic. Gen Civic platform is the Integra. Right, which is good, because that's always what like the Integra was. Yeah. Like the Integra was a play Higher on the Civic. Civic. Yeah, that's like when you look at Honda and Acura, that's what the, kind of the plan was. But the new Civic kind of was not <laughs> yeah, great. Dude. <laughs> it's such a so weird thing. It was kind of set up for failure. The Integra to me was always most famous as a coupe. And then especially yeah. the Civic dropping the coupe for the 11th generation, I was like, okay, Integra, <laughs> it seems like a no brainer that Integra is gonna be the coupe version and they're gonna split the two. Right. And they were like, why do we have two sedans? Yeah, like, it, it's, it's a little weird. So expected to have about or yeah. just over 200 horsepower Right, so typical numbers there, nothing crazy. Estimated curb weight of right around like 2,935 pounds. Which is light. Pounds. That's a pretty light. Which isn't bad. For a modern car. Which isn't bad. Especially with four doors, that's yeah. that's really good. Yeah, honestly. so it's four door and we know that manual transmission is confirmed. They made a big deal yes. about that. When this happens, when they revive like a name like that or like the new generation comes out, it's like we're always looking back like, oh, well, what is it compared to like the older one? What is it compared to the one that I like? Well, the Mark IV Super has this and I love that. Why didn't they do that with the Mark V? Looking at the DC2, like the older Integras, they had a 1.8 liter B18 yeah. VTEC engine, producing about 170 naturally horsepower, aspirated. naturally ah, aspirated. Ah, so, ah. however many years later, in 2022, we're getting a 30 horsepower bump. Right. <laughs> so it's like the same. Like right. you could go buy a 2000 Integra LS and they'd be like, it's 500 pounds heavier and you're only adding like 30 more horsepower. And so I suppose in that aspect, technically they delivered us exactly what they said they would. That's true. Like Heritage, yeah. copy. <laughs> it's, it's the same it's exact the same. specs. It just looks a little different. It's just a four door now and a lot bigger <laughs> and it looks like everything else. I think it's just kind of boring. Like it just looks like every other freaking sedan. Like I said, we know it's based on the Civic platform, which is good. That's kind of paying tribute. Like I said, however, it was based off kind of a 
the yes. Civic platform. You know, we aren't buying the new cars. Right. So, uh, Acura's not going to aim for us as the enthusiasts to yeah. get the car. And I, and I think but they that say round. they are, though. Yes. Which is the people, weird part. They still want to buy something that's like, hey, this is heritage. It feels lackluster. It feels yes, like 100%. half in a cheated. sense. It's like, I feel cheated. It's like, hey, this is an idea of what we want to do. We want to bring back this name, or we want to make a new generation of this, but. <laughs> It needs to be done like next year and yeah. we gotta just do it no matter what. Minutes. And it's like, it kinda, and it either it's just like, doesn't live up to like what it's supposed to be or it just like completely changes what the car is. So what, what are your initial thoughts? <sighs> you know, it's it's a higher scale Civic. Right. Which is which is what it's supposed fine, to be, right? But I want a two door higher scale, <laughs> slightly competitive Civic, which they might do with the Type S. People are going to modify these. There's going to be probably There's a good amount of aftermarket it. support Alrighty. for it, right? Yeah. yeah. Because it's got the same engine as the current Civic. Kept the manual transmission, they made it no. That is cool. That That's respect awesome. respect or respects yes. do, right? I, I appreciate that. It's bright color, yep. bright yellow. Potent potential. Yeah, potential for either like the Type S or Type R mm -hmm. platform in the future. Maybe a two door. I don't know. Maybe, but the possibility is there. And then you get a turbo Honda from factory. It is a turbo Integra that which, came from Honda. Yeah, which is what a lot of people really liked about Honda. the Type R. It, or like, and even like the new Civic yeah. Sports and stuff like that. It was a turbo Honda from the factory. Cons on my end. A little bit disappointed yes. in the small displacement engine. You know, why can't we have a 1.8 or the two liter turbo? Looks, what what makes this an Integra? The I only the thing that eyes. tells me that that was an Integra was the weird decal that on the side. Integra, huh? If you would have just like given me, <laughs> like if you would just showed me that car, like pulled up without like that giant decal on the side and be yeah. like, hey, what is this? I'd be like, I don't know, like is it like a Kia, a Hyundai? A I, TL like, type S. <laughs> But you know what? Whether you love it or hate it, if you scoop up one of these, you best be damn sure that out. you can find some wheels, tires, Super or suspension for it over at FitmentIndustries.com because we don't judge when it comes to that kind you of thing. Tie-dye hoodie, bro. Tie-dye hoodie. We got this new apparel. So it's, all, it's all sort of good stuff over at FitmentIndustries.com. You should go check it out. Look at the back of that. But if you're looking for wheel side suspension or apparel or anything of the sorts, don't forget to check out FitMinistries.com and don't forget to subscribe. Of course, like this video, share it with your friends to see All what their the reaction share is. With everybody, everybody or if you know, they platform. agree with us or just want to start fights with us in the comments, you know, we'll do both. I'm not going to fight. I'm not, I'm not going to fight either. I'm, I'm too passive for that kind of stuff. Maybe JT, JT might fight you. JT might fight you. He's kind of paid to do that. Yeah, so that's his job. <laughs> yeah. Bye. <laughs> Thank you guys so much, Raj. We'll see you next time.